This is who I am. Every year, uh, around April 13th, which is the day I lost my leg, we have a big party. It's Little Leg, is what I call what's up to my leg. So we have Little Leg's birthday. And Little Leg is alive, that I'm alive, but people really come in from I mean, all over, family and friends, really just to celebrate life in general. My job was, I was a convoy commander, so I led a whole bunch of vehicles from one point to the next around Iraq and really central Baghdad, delivering various supplies. It was April 13th of 2004. Um, we went out of the gate. 10 minutes into the ride, there was kind of this bridge um, and this underpass that we had to go under. Um, I remember the loud noise and I remember someone in my vehicle saying IED, IED. I started to do just that. I took my seatbelt off and I looked down and I saw a bunch of blood. She said my leg's gone. Yeah. yeah. But there's two things that she said. Everything's gonna be okay, please don't worry. And then somewhere in there, like, I'm so glad it was me and not one of my soldiers. I looked at myself and really thought about how lucky losing a leg stopped me from doing anything that I wanted to do. So I accepted it very early on and decided to, you know, just move on and live my life as best I could. really show people, you know, that losing a leg in Iraq wasn't going to stop me from doing the things that I wanted to do. Her steady determination, I think that's more important than any physical strength. <laughs> Copacabana Beach in Rio was the setting for the women's trial. So it was it was probably the best one of the best days of my life, just having to overcome everything to get to that point. I was so proud of it. I, I am so proud of it. It felt like a goal. I mean I, I think I was the happiest bronze medalist in Rio. <laughs> I think what keeps me motivated is the still wanting to just prove to myself that I can still do these things, that even after I have one or two children, that I can still be athletic. You know, I still have that desire to try to be the best of the best. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. The eight stories about world eight medalists are about to begin. The International Paralympic Committee and Japanese Wow Wow TV's five-year documentary series, Season 2. Are you ready for Pyeongchang and Tokyo? Who I am.